Predicting a bit, but you're yeah, 70, we are predicting. You're six. You're actually are you 60 in the driver still? Yeah. So 60, 70, 80 makes sense. Yeah, I would go with that. Yeah. Especially knowing the, sh the iron shafts that you got, I think it slots better too. Right. Yeah. Right. It's just a. Yeah. Okay. No, it makes sense. Okay. No, I like the feel of it for sure. I mean, it's uh, gentleman Tyler F. It looks okay. good. It looks whatever. So let's do that. Three. Okay. Five. Five. Okay. Tell us the difference between uh, the new uh, the new T series versus last year. We've got the T100, T150, T200. Obviously, T150 um, kind of replaces the T100S this year. T350, uh, no T300, no T400 uh, in, the, in the lineup this year. So, talk to about us about that. So. Our iron line always evolves. We, we try not to make big pivots and big changes with the iron lineup. We try to take the best of what we have, listen to the best players in the world, and make them better, right? And, and have them blend. So first of all, visually, um, if you're familiar with the current lineup, you'll see that the family blends together visually a whole lot better than it used to. Um, just even from a name badge location alone. But things blend together better. The soles, um, we spend a lot of time on soles, feel, all the little things to help the clubs fit well together, blend well together, uh, and keep some constant turf interaction, right? So, so 100, there's, less, if, I, if I highlight a couple of really big changes, you know, um, 100 will, most players will look at that and go, there's no real change. Visually, there's not a lot of change. The 150, if I, if I showed you the old 100S, um, the nice comparison here is you're going to see a little deeper chassis, um, so a little bit more supported, a little higher MOI for more ball speed, more up, essentially. Um, so a little bit different, hence the 150 versus a 100S. Um, I'll skip past the 200 for a second. 350, same thing. Visually, if we looked at the 300 from prior generation, you're going to see little bit different golf club lots of technology just sort of all under the hood um, to again to blend together um, from the visual to the whole family so 350 certainly flies higher again we work hard on designing clubs with playable ball flight playable ball flight being ball has to go up and ball has to come down right so and stop on its target so we're working on increasing ball speeds increasing trajectory you know, the three Ds really, distance, dispersion, and descent, right? You want a tight golf shot, you want a high golf shot, and something that lands nice and soft. Um, so, backing up to the 200, um, again, a little bit less visual difference from the prior generation, um, but again, a lot nicer looking golf club, and a golf club, again, that goes a little bit higher, a little better feel with the forged face. All of them are forged face now, um, including this one. Um, but trying to give you a feel that's closer to the 100 series um, again to blend together better yeah well they do feel great no question about it it, uh, it was fun hitting them yeah 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 Chris and Jonathan they got awesome. ball striking ball striking extraordinary there you go <laughs> that was great thank you available where available at the landings golf course yeah you'll be able to be fit actually uh, you'll be able to be fit your customers. July 20th yeah, yeah, late July, that's right. And when do we get our components to fit? Uh, end of July, August Yeah, we've 1st. got you coming on the 20th, and yep. then uh, 
Yeah. And then we'll have our components to yeah. fit on, on uh, late July, early August. Yeah, you'll be able yeah. to get them fit and take delivery even before we're launch date which is officially the 25th of August. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I can't right. wait. Great. Good. Thanks.